Hi guys, I'm Roman Dillet from TechCrunch. I'm here in Paris with Elise Nebou from Le Camping, uh, the famous startup accelerator in, in France. So Elise, you have some, some news to share. What's going to, to change at Le Camping starting next season? Well, um, after three, three years of working on Le Camping model, we have decided to, to, make, it some, to make some change uh, because we have a track record. So we have decided to now take some shares uh, to be more close to the startups and to be associated to that destiny. Okay, so wh what are some famous companies that have came up? Uh, we have recently, uh, Mesagraph has been acquired by Twitter. Uh, we have Infinite, uh, who has just raised 1.8 million with Alven and 360. And we have Lima, uh, just raised 2.5 million with Partech. And we have also Sketchfab. Uh, so we have a lot of really, really great startup working so really well. So some of them are based in France or they moved to the US? Yeah, we right. have a lot of startup based in New York and in Boston and in San Francisco. So uh, we have a mafia in New York now. Cool. So what's going to change except that you are going to take 3%? You know, at each, uh, at each season we make what we call a feedback session with our startups okay. to know what we have to improve. So we really function as a startup. We try to make it better and after the feedback session with the season 5, uh, we have identified some problem. Uh, so we have decided to, to recruit a uh, hacker in residence to help our CTOs uh, to develop themselves because we have CEO really young and sometimes it's hard for them to manage the CTO. So it was a crucial point. Uh, secondly, we think that less is best. So okay. we want less mentors, but better mentors. We want less one-to-many sessions, but more one-on-one -on -one sessions with great people. And for that, we are recruiting a new entrepreneur in residence, which is Emily Gobin. She has really an awesome experience. She has founded his own, her own startups, uh, Luzina Design, and we have another great resources, a UX designer in, re in residence. So we develop a really high demanding program. Uh, it's really intense based on values like emulation, ambition. And after four months of hard work, we go and we make a European tour, not only to raise funds, but only to be open to the world. And it's a really, really strong moment of team building. And for us, it's really key. As any accelerators, having a strong community is something absolutely important. <laughs> and for me, as a human thing, it's really, really important too. So you are recruiting new startups right now for the next season, right? Yeah, true. So do, well, do you have some, some good startups that are coming out? For the first good news is that we have more applications <laughs> than for the season five and more than uh, the season four, three, two, one. So it's a growth. That's the first positive point. Uh, secondly, uh, we have really, really exciting startup to come, but I can't say <laughs> I can't say more now uh, because the applications is uh, ending on Monday. Uh, so we will see. But I'm really confident and excited. So before taking three percent in the startups, you had sponsors uh, to, to to get money and, and make make the system work. Uh, how is it going to change for them? Well. Sponsors included we, we, we keep this, the same uh, relation and for us our partners are really important because it means access to the market for startups. So we, we keep the same relation uh, as we used to do uh, so far uh, because the relation with SNCF, BNP Paribas, Google, l'atelier BNP Paribas, Orange is really key for startups and our startup wants more. After the feedback session I talked to you, uh, they, they told me uh, we, we like to work with these partners and this is a big asset for the company. So we keep uh, working on making uh, better and more relevant for them. All right, thank you. That's, that's it. Thank you for watching.